All right, everybody, welcome back to the number one television program in the history of the entire universe. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all three books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I'm going to be reviewing Phoenix by Stephen Brust. This is book number six, I believe, five or six in his Vladimir Taltos fantasy series. I think there's 19 books projected to be in the series. I think about 17 or 18 of them are published at this point. Um, this is number six. I'm reading these and reviewing them on the channel in order of, I think in both chronological order and order of publication. I think that's pretty similar. Could be wrong. But anyway, this is the sixth book I think that I've uh, reviewed in this uh, series. And I have the entire series down here. I will just uh, kind of pan through the library here and show you. That's the entire Stephen Bruce uh, series right there. So let's talk about the cover first, because you know I love graphic design and cover illustration. It seems like all of the uh, Vlad Taltos books have been illustrated by Stephen Hickman. This one, however, was illustrated by Dennis Beauvais. I don't know how you uh, pronounce that. I will uh, spell it. Dennis, D-E-N-I-S, Beauvais. B-E-A-U-V-A-I-S. I think that's how you pronounce that. Dude's a friend of mine on Facebook. He used to do a lot of illustrations for uh, Dungeons and Dragons back in the 80s and 90s. Still a very prolific illustrator to this day. Stephen Hickman, like I said, does most of the Vlad Taltos covers. Dennis Bove did this one. It's pretty cool. It's a cool-looking dragon. Phoenix. So... What is the Vladimir Taltos series about? Well, it's about an assassin, a spy, a thief named Vlad Taltos. Um, he lives in the this realm of Drag Dragaria, Dragaria, Dragera. I don't know. I listened to this just to decide. I listened to this book on my drive, a few days after Christmas on my drive down to my parents' house, which is, I live in Salt Lake. They live down in Southern Utah. It's about a two and a half hour drive. Stephen Bruce books. I've found are perfect for listening to the drive there and drive back because the speed that I listen to audio books, it's, it takes about four and a half hours of the drive time total, which is when I speed these up because these are about eight hours on audio. But when I speed them up, it's perfect. Every time I drive to my parents' house, I listen to a Vlad Taltos book. It's sort of my thing now. That's what I did. I listened to this on the drive. So um, I took no notes as I was listening because I was driving. Didn't want to take notes. So this review will be just off the top of my head. Unedited, of course, unless something really crazy goes on. Then I'll edit that out. But um, so Vlad Taltos, like I said, he's an assassin. He's a spy. He's just a get things done type guy in the land of Dragiria. Dragera. I don't know. The audio guy was pronouncing it Dragera, I think. Um, but to me, it seems like it's spelled Dragiria. I will ref defer to the audio guy. The, by the way, I, I can't remember the name of the guy that does all the Stephen Bruce books, but he does a great job. Um, and um, anyway, uh, where was I? Like I said, some of this will get edited out. Some of these awkward pauses will be yeeted right from the video. Okay, so Vlad Taltos, an assassin. That's the third time I mentioned that. In the land of Dragaria. Okay, um, he has a familiar, a familiar, it's a dragon, a little dragon that sits on his shoulder that he talks to. It's like, you know, the typical fantasy thing where they can talk mind-linked, but it's a little dragon, like a little pet dragon, like a cat, size of a cat, but it's a badass, and it kind of follows him around, um, and that is Loyosh. Um, our main assassin, he um, opens up... By the way, this is the most action-packed of the Vlad Taltos books I think I've read yet. These are all rereads, by the way. I've had this series forever. I've been collecting this series since I was a kid. But anyway, um, this is a reread or a re-listen. Or first-time listen, but a re-read. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, let me gather my thoughts again. 
Okay. Uh, Vlad Taltos is in, the, is in a bit of a bind. He's in a fight for his life. Opening scene. And he calls upon his uh, patron goddess to come save him. Well, she does come save him, but it's for the price. You have to, since I saved you, since I got you out of this pickle, you have to do me a favor. And the favor is you have to kill, you have to assassinate the king of this island that's off the coast of Dragera or Dragaria. You have to assassinate this king. And, and he's like, well, that seems like a simple task. An assassination is, a, is not easy. You know, I mean, you got to, especially uh, when it's not on your home turf, like most of the work he does is within the realm of Dragira, And he knows that he knows the city of Adre Lanka. He knows all the customs, all the back alleys. He knows all the buildings. He can do an assassination in his sleep. But this is, he's got to get on a ship and go to another place to an, do an assassination in a place he's never been with people he doesn't know or around him. And he doesn't even know what the guy looks like. But he takes the ta he takes on the task. Well, this leads to a much bigger, enormous plot that, you know, because the patron goddess that he prays to might have had, just might have had, an ulterior motive for all this. But anyway, we get to see all the great characters that are in the book. And one of the things I loved about this book is it continues the story of Vlad and his wife, Kati, who are sort of not getting along very well because Kati has become sort of a rebel, a freedom fighter, sort of a, you know, an insurgent is I think what they call him in the book. And um, he's not down with that. He's just like, I don't know why you're on this crusade to push against the government like you do. And she's just like, well, how can you not push against the government like I do? And so they're in this sort of thing. And, and we get a lot of interaction between those two characters dealing with that situation. Um, I won't say one of them may or may not end up in prison, yada, yada. Then we've also got the other characters that come in like Moralin and, and uh, Sethra Lavode and uh, Kira. And, and these are all like different wizards and witches and thieves. And different things and then we've got Kragar the sort of the bodyguard to Vlad Taltos and Loyosh and probably my favorite storyline of all which I was not expecting in this book is Vlad Taltos has a grandfather that he calls Noishpa and Noishpa has a pretty big role in this bigger than the other books usually Noishpa is just a guy that um Vlad Taltos goes to once in a while to get some advice from. But we find out in this book that there's more to Noishpa than immediately met the eye. And that's one of the cool things about this book is we kind of get to know his grandfather at a, on a whole nother level. Anyway, um, I really enjoyed listening to this book on my drive. Um, it was fantastic. All of the Vlad Taltos books are dynamite. This one was one of my favorites. Um, I'm going to give the because these books are dope. I, I have to give this a 10 out of 10. It's just a perfect little fantasy novel.